Hi, I would like to give some explanation to pages 14 through 16 in your notebook. So um, the goal is I can identify different relationships in a scatter plot. The first thing you're going to do is describe the association for each scatter plot using linear or nonlinear, and you're going to drag you dragged the correct term under each graph. So this one you'll see that it um, it is happening in a in a line. So it's not like all of the data falls on the straight line but you can tell that it's got a linear path to it, um, meaning you could put a line through here to represent the data and kind of come up with a trend line, if you will. This one is nonlinear. Um, it's just kind of sporadic. Um, there's no real relationship to this one at all. Um, this one, you'll see that it's linear because it's all going um, in the same direction and, and it's organized in a linear path. This one is also linear. You'll see it going up like that. Um, and then on the bottom of this page, um, positive association is when you look from left to right. Um, so looking from left to right, just like you read, um, think about if the line would be getting um, bigger or smaller. So like this is an example of a positive association because the numbers are increasing from left to right. Over here, you'll see that I skipped one. But over here, you'll see this one is a negative association because from left to right, the numbers are going down or the points are going down. And so you have positive association from left to right, they increase. Negative association from left to right, they decrease. Now, this one, again, since it has no association, it's not going to have a positive or negative trend. And then this one, again, you'll see from left to right, it's increasing, so it is positive. Uh, don't forget to drag the dot on how you are feeling about what you did on page 14. On page 15, you will see um, you needed to do a scatter plot. So you used these dots over here and you click and drag them so you can see where they're supposed to go. Um, and then you answer the questions at the bottom. Does this graph have a positive or negative association? So it is trending in this direction, which means from left to right, the numbers are getting bigger. So it's gonna have a positive association. It does have a linear association. It's not perfectly linear. Um, but you can see that it's in as it's going through that um, path, you'll see it. Um, so this would can be considered having a linear association. Um, and then does it have any outliers? And I'm going to say no, that it doesn't have any outliers. This one may look like it's a like a little far off, um, but it's not too far off. If this happened to be like way down here, then this would be considered an outlier. But it's not. It was up here somewhere. Oh, oops, that doesn't look right. Um, how about I just hit undo? There we go. Um, so um, this one isn't considered an outlier. So an outlier would be something that's really far off the graph. Like if we had one up here or if we had one down here, those would be considered outliers. And then finally, on page 16, um, the first thing that you had to draw was a scatter plot that had a linear association. So it just needs to have a straight line. So it could go like this. It could go like this. Um, you could continue using more points in here if you want, um, just so you can see that it, it has a linear association, that somewhere in there, there would be a line that could represent the majority of that data. Um, down here, it says um, a negative association with one outlier. Um, I must not have done the outlier part, so we'll stick one there now. So negative asso association, meaning from left to right, it's going to go down. And then one spot that doesn't fit in with the rest of the data. So that one could work. Um, so hopefully that helps. And please let me know if you have any questions or need me to clear anything up for you. Thank you.